Hello everyone, this is General Odom. Welcome back to another Let's Play Rome 2 Total War Hannibal at the Gates campaign. So in our last video, we managed to basically take eh, most of the north. We took Rosella and I believe Placentia. And now we can actually... Ah, I didn't actually... Well, let's get rid of this guy. Uh, dismantling that. Let's make room for some... something maybe more useful. Minus two food and we get additional ships. At your command. So now we actually need to launch our campaign Ready against those guys. So I'm gonna hire some additional mercenaries for this. Uh, ideally someone... some cavalry and some Gallic Hunters. Oh wait, these guys might be way too expensive. Some disposable soldiers or cannon fodder. And we'll launch our assault here. Yeah, it didn't seem like we needed it, but just in case. So we're gonna finish off the Mosses, take the settlement, and Appius has leveled up. And well, oh, this guy has some pretty neat skills. Mercenary contacts. Let's do that. Oh, it looks like I have one more skill I could have used. And we can also do ooh logistics later. At your command. And it looks like there are slums here. I guess we didn't actually hit the jackpot in this one. Okay, so... Calvary is expensive. These guys are pretty expensive as well. We have the Volkai coming at our way. Let's see, can we come to a... up? Oh, we're at war with them. Well... Ah, they were allied with the Elabrugius. Oh, no, that's their fault. Emporium. Yeah, we're at war for everyone in Spain as well. Perfect. How absolutely perfect. So we'll keep that standing army there because of those guys. I skip. I serve only Rome. It seems like it'll be a pretty long journey to get down there. Summer. The meat here. here. So let us kill off these rebels with our Etruscan League uh, allies. Quickly auto resolve this. I'm surprised how few rebellions we've had. And that is awesome. Because in the Grand Campaign and, and in Caesar and Gaul, that was, that was the worst. I was like eating. Rebellions for breakfast. It was the worst. Okay, so Scipio is still level one. Seems like a lot of the people that are winning the battles for us are in other houses. Except for this guy. Whoever he is. Hmm. I suppose we could take this guy out as well. I actually don't want to do that. I should just raise a fleet. But I can't raise a fleet, so never mind. Alright, so Massalia is secured. We need to secure Elibroges. And unassigned skills. Ah, for the agent in question. Let's do that. Seems to be the best use of your skills. Giving bonus movement points for the general. And now we wait and see what our allies continue to do in the Mediterranean and how they're moving all of their agents everywhere. 
Perhaps the Etruscan League will actually take the Elebrius. There we go. This is what I was waiting for. If they gave us money, then I was definitely going to take up their offer on the military lines. But in the previous video, we didn't quite do that, so I wasn't very apt for helping their cause. Alright, so Hick Sunt Leones. This was one of the first missions, or actually this was the first mission. Control 30 settlements either by direct ownership or through client states and military allies. So we have actually completed that and got a 5500 bonus. Oh, okay. Mission number two. Carthage may be cretentious, but they are well prepared. If we rest on our laurels, they may prove more than merely troublesome. So arm the men, fortify the towns, make ready. Control 35 settlements. Basically the same one as before. And we'll get 5,000. 5,000 bucks. I want to influence more. More Romans. Not enough Romans. Or not culture. A lot of Celtic culture. Okay, so. Got that. We're at we're in autumn now, so how many turns do you think it'll take? Way too many turns. Can't tell if Force Marches is broken or not. Eh, guess we'll be traveling a lot. Minus 20% mercenary costs, I like it. But I like diplomacy. Ah, oh, this is this is what this will be good. We should definitely go for the Iberian relationship bonus. Who are these guys? Liguria? Ah. Let's get rid of these guys. It's kind of a thorn in our side at this point. And this will be pretty much their last... That was their last army, so... That will make our turns go a little faster. Okay. Oh. So that is sorted out. Now let me think. If we have this army here... Don't have any cavalry in this one. This one seems most suited for marching out. So I think what I'll do is I'll leave one legion here in Gnu, which will be the fifth legion. Very well balanced army. And I think yeah. So this army will stay here, defend the north the event of anything that occurs. Now Scipio needs needs an army. So we're gonna have a relatively beefed up army for this guy. So we're going to get some Principes. Some of those guys. Some of these guys. Do that for now. I'm going to upgrade Rome. We're going to increase the increase the money making or commercial opportunities in Latinium et Campia. And then from here, we're going to build a Roman village. The Volcai are still at our doorsteps, so we're going to engage. This will be a relatively even battle, according to, you know, whatever their, their metrics are. Whew, but I feel like so far the campaign has been hasn't been too terrible. I mean, it's definitely been different, which is 
a good difference. It wasn't like uh, before where oh it's snowing. Wait, what? How is it snowing? It's not even winter yet. Whoa, we'll fight in the snow because it looks cool. And we can actually kind of see. Oh yes. Oh crap, I only have I have only one Velites? Oh man, this army's so unbalanced. <laughs> oh. Alright, so let's let's march through the desert snow. Or rather, not the desert snow. <laughs> the Arctic snow. Let's hope they meet us in the middle. They're not gonna meet, meet us in the middle. Wow! But this this is awesome though, this looks great. Ooh, just like a massive field. And there's snow everywhere. Still none. No movements on their part. Okay, so it's already been like three minutes and we haven't even marched. Alright, so we're gonna <coughs> engage them now. Alright, so now they're moving. Calvary is going to do things. I'm not entirely sure what yet, but yeah, I'll okay. figure it out when they get there. Warriors! Oh, they don't have the war cry shenanigans they had in the other one. They will bleed for us! There's heavy melee infantry. The assault was definitely launched a little bit premature. Just a little bit. I didn't realize how far these guys were. Flanks covered. At speed. Ready and waiting. Quick march. Romans ready for two minutes. losing decisively. Holy shit. Who are we fighting? Oh, noble mercenary cavalry. That'll do it. Come 
Alright, we're taking care of those Celtic cubes. Battle rhythm. Going to take out these uh, Gallic horsemen. Oh man, they're dudes are way too powerful. I'm not gonna chase those guys. Going to flank these Celtic warriors. Oh yes, their mercenary horsemen are actually losing. I didn't think it was possible. Defensive Testudo! Reinforce! Come on, cavalry. Let's see. Let's inspire ourselves to do better. Celtic Utes. Uh, well, let's flank the back. That is the beauty of having cavalry. You can outmaneuver your opponents. Off those Celtic Utes. And then by doing so, we're also going to flank this main body right here. Hopefully, we can kill off their. Oh shit, Light Horsemen. Oh, well, thank you for meeting my. my one spare unit. So we've gotten rid of these pesky skirmishing units. And then we're going to flank them in the back again. Man, these were these were some awesome Gallic warriors. Worth every penny. So we're doing our surround. Boom! Let us enjoy this moment of intense combat. Where everyone seems to be wearing the same armor. Charge! You stole it! We're really bending them in there. Let's see. Have these guys kill off those dudes. Still have two Astati units trying to take care of one Noble Horse unit. And now we're going to collapse on the remaining Barbarian forces. Currently in the middle right here. And now it's a flash mob. Mob! It's the mob! It's the Roman mob. Horsemen. 
Alright, send in... Send in the cavalry. Going to spread out my forces. Oh man. How many how many were left at the end of this? Thirteen. That's still too many. I want zero. Zero enemy noble horsemen. Alright, I think that was a good enough brush. Huh <sighs> wow, we lost a thousand men. But I feel like we almost completely wiped out their their army. Hopefully they only have like zero. Oh come on, just get off the campaign now. Oh of course not. Make haste, eh. men. Commander. Kill the yes! Power. We can finish them off. Ah, there we go. Fast forward. Ah. That is a very satisfying feel. And there's nothing in this, uh... In this settlement. Ah, perfect. Tolosa. Well, looks like these... These warriors have paid their dues, and now they can be released. Keep the cavalry. Uh, I don't even want to try that. Seems so broken. Okay. That really freed up our... Our monies. 7700 for income. I think we're at like 5,000 or something like that. But once we have open conflict with Carthage, it'll be pretty rough. Alright, we're almost there. I always forget to set quick speed for the AI turns. So this will be this should be a little faster than before. Well maybe not. Placentia Rebellion. Oh, another another blackmail. I don't know why he keeps getting blackmailed. For the second time in like two turns. Capture okay, capture Tolosa. Let's do it. Cultural conversion. Where did this army come from? No, seriously, where? What? Founded in 2200 BC. It's only been three years. Where did this guy come from? Ready for orders. Quintus. Oh, snap. Is this guy new? Hmm. Well, let's take a look at this guy. Placentia. Rebellion. Where art thou thy rebels? Oh, that's right, huh? Whoa, I didn't even know I had an army here. This will be really useful. Returning to land. Mm -hmm. now. Okay, it'll take him a few turns, but... Oh shit. I can't believe I've had this army the whole time. Actually, maybe not. There's no name on this one. Interesting. We hunger for battle. I'm gonna build a uh view the Mars. Ready for battle. 
And we're going to hang out here for a little bit. Hmm. Our spies indicate that the yellow burgers are very weak at the moment. Man, they're never gonna get there. No, it doesn't work. You can't force march. Oh gee, that's the worst. We'll never get there. We'll never get there in time. Okay, now that we've discovered a newfound force with no name. Eh, I'll take it. Alright, well, it looks like we're out of time here, so I'd like to thank you guys all for watching, and see you next time!